This is a video for part two of fractional distillation of crude oil. Now, before we begin, I would like to have a very brief review of what we've discussed in the last video. So, in the last video, I introduced a setup. The setup is the same as simple distillation. I use it to obtain pure water from cold cola. You learn this in form one. This time, I use the uh, test tube to contain crude oil absorbed in mineral oil, a uh, mineral pool. So we heat the mixture. The temperature inside increases gradually. So let's say uh, the temperature now it is increases from 100 degrees Celsius to 126. The temperature now inside the mixture is 126 degrees Celsius. It reaches the boiling point of one of the hydrocarbon. So this is CAH18 in this case. So this hydrocarbon will boil and remove from the mixture, enter to the test tube here. So the temperature here increases as the heating continues. So let's say the temperature now is 174 degrees Celsius. It reaches the boiling point of another hydrocarbon, c 10 x 2 so this hydrocarbon will also boil and leave the mixture and to another test tube. So if the heating continues, the temperature now when it reaches 200 degrees Celsius, we remove this test tube and label it as test tube number, maybe number four. So this test tube will contain all the molecules, hydrocarbons with boiling point range in between 100 degrees Celsius to 200 degrees Celsius. We remove this test tip and we paste the test tip and we continue the process. So if we continue the process, we can separate crude oil into a simpler mixture. Originally, the crude oil, they con it contains many different types of hydrocarbon. Now, we can separate them into separate test tips. Test tip number one, two, three, four. Each contains hydrocarbons with a definite uh, boiling point range. We call each test tip a part of the crude oil. We call them fraction. Each of them, they are fraction of the crude oil. They contain different molecules with different boiling point range. Because we separate the crude oil into fraction, and we use a a technique just like simple distillation. We call this technique fractional distillation. This is what we discussed in the last video. So why we need to do so? Why we need to do fractional distillation of crude oil? Last video I've introduced to you, this is to make crude oil more useful. We separate them into eight different fractions and actually there are different general properties of these fraction. Now in this video we're going to compare these are general properties. What are the differences of the general properties in these four fractions? Now before we start, I need you to pause the video and complete these three tasks first. Number one, I need you to take out the textbook and read the following pages first before we proceed. Now uh, in this part, we have uh, some procedures to compare the general properties of the uh, oil fractions. Second one, I need you to ready to mark the observations on page 77. There's a table to compare different properties of the oil fractions. And in the description below, I have attached a video, a link from the publisher. So uh, they, uh, they provide some of the uh, results of the experiment. Oh, please pause the video before I move on watch the experiment video provided in the description below and we proceed to the uh, today's uh, video okay so i assume that at this moment you have complete these three tasks now we are going to move on what are the differences of the properties of these oil fractions number one the color intensity now this one i think is very uh, straightforward you don't need any video. You can just uh, do the. Uh, you can just record the observation by referring to this. Uh, this photograph here. So this uh, fraction number one, two, three, four. They contain different types of hydrocarbon inside. You can immediately tell the trend of the color intensity of these all fractions. 
you will see that obviously from fraction number one to fraction number four, the color intensity increases from pale yellow to maybe orange, brown, or even black in color. So, and obviously fraction number four is darker than fraction number one. There is a trend of increasing color intensity from fraction number one to number four. Now, how about the second property? We're going to compare the viscosity. So previously, do you remember I showed you the sample of crude oil? I tell you that crude oil is this uh, very viscous liquid. So how can we compare the viscosity of different oil fractions? We have this technique. We hold the test tube vertically and then we put it in the horizontal position. We call this action to the stopper test tube. Of course, you need a stopper, otherwise the oil fraction will flow and you mix all the things dirty and they, the things inside may be carcinogenic. We observe how the fraction flows. Now, how can we compare the viscosity? How can we tell which oil fraction is the most viscous one? So, what is the technique? We're actually comparing the time for the liquid to flow for fixed distance. So we have a test tip. When you put it in the horizontal position immediately, the liquid will flow from the bottom of the test tip to another side of the test tip. You may use the stopwatch or you can just look at it to count the time for the liquid to flow between the fixed distance. Let's say from the bottom of the test tip, to the uh, top of the mouth of the test tube. So if the liquid is more viscous, obviously it will take a, sh a longer time to flow through a fixed distance. All right. So here in this slide, I uh, extract two of the experimental results, fraction number one and fraction number four. We chill the test tube, put it in horizontal position to see how long it takes for liquid from, to flow from one end to another end. And also, if we return the test tube to a vertical position, how will the liquid flow? Now see, uh, you may refer to the experiment video. For fraction number one, if we return to the vertical position, the liquid will drop immediately and leaves no trace here. However, for fraction number 4, if we return it to the vertical position, some of the liquid you see is sticking on the wall and it flows slowly back to the bottom part of the testing. So we say from fraction number 1 to 4, the fraction becomes more viscous. It becomes more viscous. We can use another way to describe. We can use a degree of how the uh, the degree of viscous. We call it viscosity. So we say from fraction number one to four, the fraction has a higher viscosity. Lean dog or we say the viscosity of the fraction increases. Now this is the property number two we go compare among these all fractions. Number three, we can compare the ease of evaporation. See how easy the oil fraction evaporate at room temperature. Now here I have some remarks to remind something you may learn in form one. So let's say you have a cup of water, you put it under the sun, the water level will drop uh, gradually. Or uh, in the recent weeks, you will clean the home uh, frequently. When you wash the dishes and you will clean the floor, the water will disappear after a short period of time. So you know that the water they becomes gas form, they becomes water vapor. They turn from liquid to the gas and enters to the air. However, is it boiled? The answer is not. Uh, the answer is no, I say the answer is no. You don't need 100 degrees Celsius to get the water turns from liquid to gas. 
，你抹完地唔使等佢一百度嘅，佢先佢先會乾嘅。So this process actually is called evaporation of water。啲水蒸發咗 ，it occurs below the boiling temperature。It may occurs all the time。It occurs on surface. If you study physics in Form Four, you know more details, more comparison of evaporation and boiling. So back to our experiment. How can we compare the、uh, ease of evaporation? We use a dropper to drop these four oil fractions on a filter paper and see、uh, the marks they leave here. Now, how can we tell which oil fraction is、uh, easier to evaporate? Actually, very simple. If the fraction of high ease of evaporation, if it is evap, if you can evaporate easily, it dries completely in a short period of time. I should say, shorter period of time. So you see, fraction number one, it is nearly disappeared with the same period. Fraction number two, you see some of the yellow marks here. Fraction number three and four, they have. They、uh, mark the trace of、uh, the last for a long period of time. So what is the trend? You know that from fraction one by one to four, the fraction becomes harder to evaporate. So we can describe it in another way. The fraction has a lower ease of evaporation. Called 难啲蒸发嘅 Now this is、uh, our third of、uh, properties we're going to compare. For this case, now how about the fourth one? The fourth one is about comparing the flammability. Now this one, I have another video. I don't want to show you immediately here. Fraction number one. If we use a burning spin to put it here, so it burns immediately. Now how about fraction number two? Similar observation. You put the burning spin close to it. It burns immediately. Now, how about fraction number four? Wow, it does not burn. Fraction number four, if you use a burning spin to touch it, it does not catch fire immediately. Now, to burn fraction number four, we may use some trick. We may use a cotton wick, 俾條棉芯佢包落去 Just like the wick inside a candle, 好似蠟燭入邊嘅嗰支誒蠟燭芯一樣 We try to burn the wick and make the fire last longer to try to burn fraction number four. Okay, eventually you can burn it, and you can see some black smoke being produced here. So okay, if we compare the flammability, obviously which fraction is the easiest to burn? Fraction number one. It burns immediately with the burning spin. And fraction number four, it takes a long time to ignite. So you see, from fraction number one to four, it is ah.、Uh, sorry, I have a mistake here. I need to make a correction here. The flammability decreases. The fractions becomes harder to burn. Okay, the fraction becomes harder to burn. Finally. For ah,、uh, I make also make a mistake here. It should be point number five. If we compare the amount of black smoke in the a、uh, video I attach in the subscription a、uh, description here, you can see that fraction number one and fraction number two it burns with a clean flame. No black smoke is being produced. However, for fraction number three, you see a small amount of black smoke is being produced when it's burning. Fraction number four, you will see a larger amount of black smoke is being produced. Now, if you are not sure about this, you may watch the video again in the description below here. Which one burns a more a、uh, short tear flame? Being a hot in body, remember we have already discussed it in class before the、uh, suspension period. Being a hot in body, we call it burns with a short tear flame. Obviously. Fraction number four, it burns a more short tear flame. So see the trend is from fraction number one to four, it they burns with a high shortiness. Okay, it burns a high shortiness, or we say it burns with a short tear flame. Okay, so what is our conclusion? 
So on page 77, we have a table here. We compare different properties of the oil fractions. Now again, I need you to pause the video and you try to mark down the uh, our findings first before I move on. I right? pause the video, just list out the trend here. We have provided a key for you, one, two, three, four. Which one has a lowest boiling point? Which one is has the lightest color? Lowest or scarcity, easiest to evaporate. Uh, easiest to, to burn and amount of plasma oil. I want you to complete the trend in your textbook first before we tell you the answer. Okay, so I assume that you have completed this part. So the boiling point from fraction number one, two, three, four. Fraction number one has the lowest boiling point, and fraction number four will have the highest boiling point. How about the color? The color here, uh, fraction number one will have lightest color, fraction number four will have the darkest color. Viscosity, ease of evaporation. Flammability, fraction number one is the easiest to burn, or the highest, easy to burn. And the amount of black smoke, the trend is here. So you see the trend will be from fraction number one to four, it becomes more and more difficult to burn, darker in color, uh, highest, higher viscosity, and burns it. Uh, larger amount of black salt should tear flame. Now before we end today's video, here I will have four different kind of questions you'll be asked you will ask you and you I will tell you the answer in the next video. Maybe next video will be out on in the next week as well, I have plenty of animation to be add in the PowerPoint here. I want to think for fraction number one to four which one is the most suitable to be used as fuel? Which one is the most suitable to be used as lubricant? And the opposite, which one is the least suitable to be used as fuel or lubricant? So I want you to think this question first before we move to the next video, maybe next week, okay? Tell me your answer in the comment boxes here. Okay, please make your comments here. And also better for you to give me the explanation in the comment boxes below. Alright, so I'll stop here. Thank you.